Friends, herein lies one of the great mysteries of Bible prophecy. We're here in Bethlehem at the wall separating Israel from Palestine. And guys, I was shocked to see this mural on the wall. I venture to say none of you actually know what this means, so please pay close attention to what it is we're about to tell you. It's the great mystery of Bible prophecy that you've never heard about. So what do we have? We have Isaiah 11. But before we talk about these animals and these stack, I want you to look at them and pay attention and even pause the video and tell me if you know what it means. <laughs> but first off, we're in Bethlehem. This is what it says in Micah 5 of Bethlehem, Ephrata, little among the tribes of Judah. Okay. This is that place, guys. We're right here in Bethlehem and we have this extraordinary mural. Now, of course, what we have is several animals. They're all listed in Isaiah 11. Now, what it says, it says the wolf, which you can see on the top, there's a wolf howling. Okay. It says the wolf will dwell with the lamb. Right here is a lamb. Then it says the leopard... And you see the leopard, the third one down, shall lay down with the kid. And there's a goat right there. Then it says the lion and the fatling together. Then you have a lion right here. And above it is a heifer. And a little child shall lead them. So the little child is the son of perdition. And then it says the cow, which is really a heifer, and that cow there is a red heifer, shall, and the bear shall feed. Okay, so now you have a cow here, you have a bull here, and you have a bear. You have a perfect description of what we see in Isaiah chapter 11, verses 6 and 7. It also says in Isaiah 65, 25, that the lion shall eat grass like an ox. Now, what does that mean? Well, that's Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar was described as a lion. And for seven years, he ate grass like an ox. And we even have grass here at the bottom, okay, of this mural. So it's extraordinary that anyone would know what this means. But this is Isaiah 11. And... Isn't that amazing, guys, that here in Bethlehem we have this, this mural, okay? Now, what is going on here? Let me explain what is going on. Is that these various animals are attached one to another. Now, these are the beasts of Daniel chapter 7. And Daniel chapter 7 says the first beast was the first beast of a lion, right here, okay? The second beast was a, um, a leopard, Okay, there we got the leopard. The third beast is a bear. And then the fourth beast is a terrible beast. And we know out of that fourth beast comes ten horns. And out of those is the son of perdition. So guys, the mystery is this. Is that these animals and these beasts, okay, represent kings. In Daniel chapter 7 it says these are four kings on the earth. And what it means when it's talking about the two animals tied together is a spirit. So the animal is like a person and then the, there's another animal that's a spirit. Okay, so let, let's, um, let's look at the first one. It says the wolf, which you see at the top is a wolf, shall lay down with the lamb. So that's a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's Pope Francis. Okay, that's the beast of Revelation, the uh, lamb that has two horns. Okay, so what it is, it's a, it's, a, it's a king, it's a beast that's a lamb, but he speaks as a dragon. He's a, he's a lamb on the outside, but on the inside, he's a wolf. Okay, then it says, the leopard shall lay down with the goat. Now, the leopard is Obama. At the time we're recording this, Obama is in Berlin. Speaking, okay, I've told you Obama is the little horn of Daniel 8. Well, what does that mean? 
in Daniel 8, it says the leopard, okay, is the, uh, is the goat. In Daniel 8, it talks about the goat. Well, that's the Baphomet. We, we told you the Baphomet statue that happened, okay, the Baphomet statue that happened in uh, 2015. That was Obama. The spirit of the goat, the spirit of the Baphomet goes into the leopard, okay? It's deeper than that. We got more videos on this, guys, if this is probably new to you, all right? But then what it says, it says the lion and the calf and the cow or the cat. Well, again, that's Nebuchadnezzar. The lion has a spirit of an ox. Nebuchadnezzar was a king and it, through his pride, the, the watcher said, you will eat grass like an ox. That's a spirit. That's an evil spirit is indwelling Nebuchadnezzar for seven years. And he acted like a beast. That's Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the lion. He's the seventh. Now, the other thing about Micah chapter five, that's extraordinary. It talks about seven shepherds. Okay. And then the eighth. So those seven shepherds are those seven in Revelation 17, 10. Revelation 17, 10, it says there are there one is, okay? And it's talking about these kings, all right? Then there's the seventh. The seventh is the seventh shepherd. That's Trump. Trump is this lion. That's why Trump, there's like two Trumps, okay? Trump is sometimes, he's influenced by a spirit, okay? He's influenced by a beast, an ox, okay? Madness, all right? So, that, guys, that's just what's going on. That's what all these mean. This is the great mystery of Isaiah 11. I have, I have taught this before in notes. I have not done a message and I'm so glad I did because I'm in Bethlehem. I saw this and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's right here. It's right here. This is the great mystery in Bethlehem of the seven shepherds. Okay, so Trump is the seventh that must continue for a short space. So guys, that's what we have in this mural. We have the lamb that's indwell with the wolf. We have the leopard that has the baphomet, the goat, okay? And that's exactly what it says. It's a satire, it's a goat, it's a baphomet in Daniel chapter eight. That was Obama, that little horn, all right? We got the lion with the ox and we got the bear. We got Vladimir Putin right here. These are the four kings. Well, these are the three of the four kings in Daniel chapter seven. Vladimir Putin is the bear, and all these guys are on the scene right now and major players in Bible prophecy. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, we're going to have more on this because that, that cow right there, that's a red heifer. We're going to do a whole message on the red heifer, okay? That's literally what it says in, in the Hebrew. It's a heifer, okay? And that's what it says in Isaiah 11. This is amazing. So to God be the glory for it. Uh, all this information for allowing me to be here in Bethlehem for this time. And guys, um, please watch the playlist on the little horn. That's Obama, the leopard, in Berlin right now, okay? We have Putin, the bear. We have Trump moving the, um, acknowledging the Golan Heights. So thanks for watching and God bless you. We got Trump right here, guys. He's the lion. I have another video. Trump is the lion. The seventh shepherd here in Bethlehem. Let me just give you a little close up of everything. So we got the lamb. Okay. Just so you can see everything, we have a little glare. Sorry about that. The bear. The lion. The heifer. The leopard, the goat, and the wolf. All described perfectly in Isaiah 11.